So I'm here in this first test, and I'm just going to get some shots of the uh, Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air just shooting at uh, broad daylight, sort of a scene here. I have some uh, foliage and brush, uh, a lot of bushes and stuff right there. Um, there is some shady area, which is what I wanted, and uh, just getting some shots in 4K right now. This is with um, the settings at zero um, with my, everything's on automatic with these guys. Uh, exposure value is set to zero on, on both, like zero EV. So the shutter speeds will be slightly different because of the lens speed on these. And the angle is gonna be also be a little bit different too. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we come up with. So this is an outdoor test. Um, the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro uh, both have the same uh, profile settings. They're both set at automatic uh, with zero EV on both. Um, so I chose a scene that I knew was going to be tough for both cameras to do. It's a bright sort of sky background with a dark, shady, very high detailed um, bush area, uh, bush and tree area there. Um, so looking at both the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air, um, you can see already that there's a, a difference. Uh, one looks uh, like it has a lot of sharpening applied to it, but they're both set at zero uh, sharpening. Um, back to the Mavic Air here. Um, their color and the is a little different, and so is, of course, the, fe the field of view. So we zoom in, and we look at the Mavic Air, and it uh, looks pretty normal uh, as what we'd expect. Um, pretty decent, but there is this patch here that I want to really kind of take a hard look at, and it's this orange blob area on the Mavic Pro, um, right there is the air, but that same area um, ha has a really weird uh, watercolory blob sort of a look to it. Um, and that's where noise reduction is really slamming it hard. And this also could be uh, part of the codex problem as well, some of the macro blocking. But check this out. Watch what happens when the sun comes out of the clouds and hits that spot with a lot more light and it gets a lot brighter. And there's the air. and We can see what it does there. Um, they both look a lot better but the uh, Mavic Pro really looks a lot better when the, uh, the brightness goes up on it. And then the clouds kind of cover the sun again. The sun goes away and it goes back down into the shade. And look what happens to it once it gets darker. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and see that again. Uh, so let's get a closer look here. Again, in the sh when it's dark and it's in the shade, you, you get this horrible watercolor blotchy effect. Um, and then as it gets brighter, the noise reduction lets up on that area and allows more detail to come through. It looks a lot more normal uh, here uh, when it's brighter. And uh, the, the noise... The noise is definitely sort of, it's large, it's very flaky um, kind of noise, just like the other test uh, I did here. And of course, here we go, it's getting darker again, and bang, the noise reduction clamps down on it and just eats it, just eats the detail for breakfast. And you get that watercolor effect. So side by side, you can see uh, the difference. The Mavic Air is soft, of course, uh, but it has a more normal noise pattern, whereas the Mavic Pro has this weird sort of, it looks like it was painted on a big bed of cornflakes. Sun comes in, gets brighter, and noise reduction lets go a little bit. We still have um, some noise in there, kind of a weird shape to it, but at least it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's watchable and it's not that bad. And of course the air looks pretty normal. And the uh, clouds come back and the sun goes away and all of a sudden, bang. Clamp down, noise reduction just eats that detail completely. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So let's do another test here with same exact scene, underexposed for both. Um, so they're both still on auto, and I'm using a negative uh, one-stop uh, auto exposure. So um, I think this is really going to give us more of the same um, kind of a look here. The Mavic Air has 
pretty typical noise reduction, um, pretty normal looking uh, grain to it. Um, and the Mavic Pro looks over sharpened and uh, it has a very uh, pulsing sort of large flaky noise reduction. Um, it does give the appearance of it being sharper and with more detail, but it really there really isn't any more detail in it. It just looks sharper. Sharpness and detail are two very different things. And of course over here, again, we can see that large flaky noise reduction. The Mavic Air has a more traditional grain to it. It doesn't seem to be dependent on the tone, the brightness or darkness tone of the image. Um, I do believe that the Mavic Pro, uh, again, there's that noise again, might have a sharper infinity focus than the Mavic Air does. Um, things that are that far off in the distance do tend to look a little sharper. But again, we get that crazy noise effect on the Pro. The Air doesn't have that. It's more of a softer, fine, fine grain noise. So I call this the bright room test, and I've taken both cameras with the exact same settings, uh, 100 ISO for both and 130 shutter for both, and placed them into a room that's pretty well lit with, that, with some objects in there, and it has a, a wall that has a very fine sort of a texture to it. And uh, I've got some dark colored objects in there, and you can already see the Mavic Pro uh, is showing some different noise uh, patterns in the Mavic Air, and uh, in that in that wall back there, you can see right here. You'll notice the Mavic Air holds those details, those fine details, fairly well, but the Mavic Pro uh, starts to to scrub some of that that detail away with its noise reduction. Um, and over here uh, in the objects we've got, we have a barcode up there in the corner, a shadow, and, and sort of a chair, a nylon chair back thing. And um, the detail in both of those areas is also very different um, with the Mavic Pro than it is with the Air. So let's go ahead and zoom in and see what's going on, uh, take a closer look. And you'll notice that already the Mavic Air, you know, the Mavic Air holds its detail fairly well. There's some noise there, but it's holding that texture. You can see it. Mavic Pro, the noise reduction is literally scrubbing that detail away. Um, and it's sort of just, it's really, yeah, it's eating away at the detail for the most part. It's, it's set pretty high. The Mavic Air, again, when you move over to here where the, where the barcode is, you can actually make out some of the lines in the barcode. It's, it's, you know, it's not great, but you can certainly see it. Um, when we go to the Mavic Pro, that noise reduction is literally just washing out and smearing the detail in the barcode. Um, right next to that is that chair, uh, nylon chair, sort of a back uh, support thing. And the Mavic Air does show noise, of course, and uh, but it does show detail. You can see the detail in, in the, the, the fabric and the nylon, the lines, and the, and the mesh. When you go to the Pro, that noise reduction is just eating away at that detail. You can just see it smearing. It looks like a watercolor, that, you know, that whole watercolor effect. And uh, there's a big difference, I really, with between the two cameras. Going up a little higher, take a close look up here, and again, it's more the same story. The Mavic Air shows detail, and the Mavic Pro just just really just waters that whole thing down, smooths it out, and, and smears it. Um, it's really a huge difference, in, in my opinion. When you go over to the shadow area here, you, the Mavic Air is holding that textured wall detail in the shadow. And, of course, the barcode up there on the top right, you can see that too. But in that shadow, notice what happens with the, with the Mavic Pro is that those that noise pattern just looks like flakes it's it's huge and it, it really just doesn't hold on to those details very well at all so i call this the dark room test and uh, again it's the same room same lighting uh, both cameras are now at 1 100 shutter i wanted to to block out about uh oh, two stops of light um, um, from the image on this and compare the two. The Mavic Air holds the detail on that back wall pretty well. Uh, again, there's some noise there, but the Mavic Pro's noise reduction is just hammering that wall and eating away that detail, scrubbing it out. Um, I did notice that the Mavic Pro is darker than the Mavic Air at every single shutter speed. I don't know why. You would think it would at least be as bright, if not even a little brighter, but it's not. It's actually darker. Um, zooming in, the Mavic Air, again, has noise, um, but it does hold that detail uh, inside the noise and does a pretty good job. The Mavic Pro's uh, noise reduction is brutal. It, it, it just scrubs the detail pretty darn hard uh, in that image there. Um, 
Again, going back to the Air, you can see that it does a pretty good job. This is a very different processor um, than the, um, the Mavic Pro. Um, going over to the, the chair back, um, and you know, look at the barcode on the top right. It's just completely smeared and, and smashed. Um, the Air holds it. You can actually make out the barcode. Uh, I can't really read it that well, but you're going to see that it is a barcode. And that chair back is just being heavily scrubbed by that Mavic Pro's noise reduction system. Um, getting a closer look, going even further, again, you can see that Mavic Air is holding the details fairly well in the, in the texture of the nylon, the Nesh Metting, and the Mavic Pro is just destroying it. Um, I just thought this was pretty shocking, honestly. Um, again, going back and forth, there's a huge difference between the two. A, a huge difference. And uh, yeah, bad, really bad. And going into the shadowy area, again, that barcode in the top right is on the Mavic Pro is heavily washed out. The shaded area is just a mess. The Mavic Air holds detail in the shadow, amazingly. Um, wow, that's uh, really something.